What is up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day, and on this channel I'll talk about cybersecurity, cloud security, and other life stuff. In this video, we're going to be going through a beginner's guide to AWS mis misconfigurations, and we're gonna be going over some different ways we can um, learn about common mistakes um, when using AWS, which is Amazon Web Services, uh, going over different services like uh, S3, IAM, EC2, and we're going to be using flaws.cloud, which is essentially a um, series of levels that kind of walk you through these different mistakes, but you go through them practically. So it's really, really fun. It's kind of like a CTF for the cloud, but not really CTF-ish. Kind of, it's really fun. So we're just going to get into it and we're going to go through each level and um, just learn about AWS misconfigurations. And yeah, let's get into it. All right, so we're here on our command line and we also have um, a link to my website here. It's uh, my personal blog, it's daystarworks.com. I have a full walkthrough of everything we're going to be doing in this challenge from level one to level six. So you can definitely check it out. It's Daystar Walks. Go to the cloud sex section and scroll down to a beginner's guide to exploiting AWS misconfigurations, which we're going to be doing today. So let's navigate back to flaws.cloud and just get this back to normal. All right, awesome. This is our homepage. This is flaws.cloud. Um, this is brought to you by Scott Piper from Summit Cloud. He's an independent AWS security consultant. And this series uh, takes you through a couple of levels where you learn about common mistakes um, in AWS and you actually get to exploit them yourself. So it's really fun and we're going to get right into it. We're going to start with level one and level one is uh, buckets of fun. So see if we can find the first subdomain. So we're trying to find the first subdomain. So let's let's get into it. So um, we know we, we are on the flaws of cloud. So I want to start with some domain en enumeration uh, since we're doing, dealing with domains and buckets here. So we're, doing, we're going to do some domain and bucket discovery. So let's start by doing an NS lookup, right? Which is the most ba basic form of like finding information about a domain. So flaws of cloud. And we can see uh, the information about flaws of cloud. We see that IP address 52.218. The 185 to 138. We can also achieve the same thing by just running host flaws.cloud. And we'll get the same information. Uh, we see the IP address. So now that we have the IP address, we can do a reverse lookup on that IP address by running host on that IP address. So 52 218 And we can see that this. Uh, website is pointing towards an S3 website. So S3 website in US West 2. So this is a AWS region and this is Amazon AWS.com. So we know this is an S3 website and we know that it is in US West 2. And um, since S3 can also be used for static web hosting, this is essentially uh, what we're going to use to find our, our subdomain. So where well, you know this is an S3 website, so uh, this is a common naming format for like how S3, um, S3 websites are. So it's usually the domain uh, dot, dot, you know, the domain and then dot S3 dot Amazon AWS dot com. And yeah, that is the first domain. So we can, so that's kind of what we're looking for. We have some information here, but this is just kind of looks ugly. We can see some things. We see some hints. We we'll see... Uh, the index, we see um, the logo, we see we see different things. You see, we also, we also see a secret file, which is pretty interesting. But um, I really want to interact more with it from the command line. So let's try to see if we can list the content of the bucket, right? Let's see if we can get the same information just by listing the content of the bucket. So we're going to do AWS S3. So we're going to do basic enumeration here. We're just going to do LS, use the S3 prefix. And going to do flaws.cloud. Across the cloud and you're gonna specify the region because we know it's US uh, West 2 from this information from our domain lookup. So you region is US West 2. Boom. So we get this error and it says unable to look at credentials. You can configure credentials by running AWS configure. So this basically means that we are not authenticated. So since we, we're not authenticated, we don't have any form of credentials to verify our identity and our access to this bucket. Um, so we can interact with the S3 API without any credentials. So we can actually go around this by actually specifying a no sign request, which basically means that we're telling the CLI not to sign the request or look for credentials. And in that case, that means we can anonymously 
access the contents of s3 bucket and we'll see if this bucket allows us to do that so for that to work we're going to run the same command but this time we're going to specify no sign request and this is going to send the request without signing it and we're going to anonymously see if we can access the bucket and we can list the content of the buckets anonymously so we can see the exact same thing we saw on the s3 website so the hints the uh, index, I think the index is somewhere here, right here. We see robots and then we see the secret file, which is what I believe we're looking for here. All right, so let's grab the secret file and we'll copy it. And we'll add that at the end of this. Actually, they want to clear that out. So it's forward slash secret file. So, all right, so we found a secret file and level two is at this. Awesome. So that was the end of level one. That was actually the solution to it. level one. Before we actually go over the lessons learned, we could have, we could have also uh, we could have also had uh, we could also have viewed the content of the website um, like this. So this XML content, we can also view it um, if we curl that. So if we do curl tag s HTTP colon slash slash flaws. The cloud and this is just something extra extra this isn't really um it's not really that important but it was kind of something cool i found out when i was going through the challenge and we can curl it and we get the exact same thing xml format but it just it looks kind of ugly and we can use this um could just pipe uh xml lint and this put it in human readable format and we get the exact same thing that we saw but in a really nicer and cleaner way so this was something cool that i found uh, we, we've seen this exact same thing, but in a, in a, in a much nicer uh, format. So that's something cool I found. And yeah, that's the end of this challenge. So basically, we were able to find the subdomain, which was like the S3, the Amazon uh, AWS.com, which is like the format for static S3 hosting. And um, yeah, so those are kind of the lessons we've learned. So on AWS, you can set up S3 buckets with all sort of permissions and functionality, including using them to host static files. So and there are a number of people accidentally open them up with permissions that are too loose, just like how you shouldn't allow directly listings on web servers. So you shouldn't allow bucket listings. Um, so basically, you shouldn't allow like what we were able to do. We, sh we should not. We should not have been able to do that, right? And um, the it goes on to kind of explain more about that. So um, I believe uh, AWS actually has fixed this with like the default settings on like how you can set up your bucket um and you can you could you could also like find out more information about this if you went through the hints so the hints actually guides you through everything we just did uh the you know domain enumeration bucket enumeration stuff we just did as you can see here the same bucket enumeration we just did and um yeah so that's pretty much it um that was it for level one uh and then we can proceed to level two and i'll see you in the next video for level two where we go over the next stage which is basically a slight twist to level one so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video Bye bye